The organization that sets the rules for high school sports in Texas is meeting to consider changes to the rule book. But the UIL rejected one idea that could have affected some of the state's top high school football teams. Roger is here with a closer look. The games are going on in their entirety. The rule most likely would have affected only a very small, small number. We're talking about a mercy rule where if a team had a lead by, say, 45 points like they do in six-man, the game would be over at halftime or in the third quarter. Now, it all stems, in this case, the 11-man from last year's Alito game against Western Hills. Alito's a 4A powerhouse, and they won the game 91 to nothing. There were even bullying charges levied by one Western Hills parent, but there was no interest from the UIL Athletic Standing Committee to pursue the mercy rule, which is used, as I said, by six-man football when the lead is 45 points or greater at halftime so it was rejected. Another hot topic, the state basketball tournament's future in Austin. There have been discussions about moving it because of so much going on, especially during the boys' tournament. Once again, it will overlap with the first weekend of South by Southwest in 2015. Hotels are at a premium that weekend. San Antonio, Houston, and Dallas all have been brought up as possible hosts. First, the UIL would have to decide to move it out of Austin before they went on to decide about another site. Other discussions in 6A football, higher seed team from each district will have the home field advantage, no flipping the coin or picking a neutral site. And how about this? Game day cheerleading competition goes to a vote by the UIL Legislative Council tomorrow. That could be a sport as a one-year pilot program. A lot of discussion that cheerleading is a sport. Looks like they'll get their chance. Okay, you'll keep us posted. Yes.